Today I'm getting a uh, kidney transplant, and um, my son has given that to me. He's my donor, and I first told him about my issue. He said, Dad, we're just going to do this, like no hesitation. As a matter of fact, both he and my daughter, so I'm very proud of him for doing that. I'm very grateful. I'm just happy I can give my dad a kidney, um, and he can continue on with his life. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just really happy that I can do it for him. My name is Lauren, Michael's sister, Maurice's daughter. I know it's major surgery, but um, I, uh, I'm getting incredible care. I have a lot of trust in uh, the doctor, and um, I'm not concerned because uh, I'm a man of faith, and uh, God's going to be with me no matter what. So I'm content. Amen. I only have one thought, and he said we're people of faith that God has a so plan, that's, but that's God's taking care of us and our family in this, so we're okay. We're okay. Well, I've never seen this much organized chaos in my life, but it's kind of like better than television. Yeah, there's a lot going on in here. The part where I changed the most probably was the day of surgery, uh, because I just wasn't in a good mood. Like everything going on, there were lots of people in the operating room at the same time asking me my birthday about five times. So I was, and Mind you, it was 5.30 in the morning, so I was not, I was not that happy, but... And then, next thing I know, I woke up and my dad was, uh, had tons of energy. Things are going extremely well, you know, much better than I expected. Um, Health-wise, the doctor's telling me that I'm doing very, very well. I have so much energy. Um, I haven't felt like this since I was uh, in my 30s. <laughs> I am an insider, and um, I felt like uh, I was getting special treatment at one point, but then I realized, I, you know, I have, they treated me extremely well. All the nurses, the techs, the transporters, the uh, food service people, I got a chance to see them in a different light. Usually I see things from a security perspective, but now I saw it from a patient perspective. I said, okay, well, because I'm an insider, maybe I'm getting this kind of great care. But what I did as a cop <laughs> is I observed how they treat other people and other patients. I had a chance to observe how other patients were being treated, and it was incredible. It's inspirational um, in the sense that I want to make sure that my team uh, matches up to what we're doing here upstairs. So this is a message that I wrote on, on just as soon after the surgery, a day, about a couple hours after the surgery when I was back in the recovery room. Um, so it's on my Instagram page, and I'll read it now. Today was a good day. 33 years ago, the doctors told my mother to prepare because my dad would probably live only another three years because of kidney disease. But God is good, and he's lived another 33. And today my life has changed as I was able to give my dad a kidney to continue living on this beautiful earth. People constantly ask me, this must be such a difficult decision for you, no? I can honestly say it has been the joy of my life. I love you, daddy. I'm glad I'm from Maryland, and they do this laparoscopically. <laughs> because not many hospitals in the U.S. Uh, do it through the belly button, so it's a win-win for everybody. Small scar, help my dad out.